Hello everybody, let's do some math together. I have a problem for you, and it has to do with something that troubles Dewey often. Now Dewey likes math, but sometimes it's so difficult. So let's help Dewey out today. Dewey is interested in division. And division can be tricky, especially when adults say long division. It sounds like it's going to take a long time. But there's some ways of thinking about division which should make things a bit easier. So let's think about it together. This is a, something that came up for me a couple days ago when I was working with students. I saw some students working out some problems. I said, well, there might be an easier way to do this. They were taking a lot of trouble to make things complicated. So let's take a problem like 24 into 180. Now it looks difficult from the start because you have two digits here and you have a number over here and how many 24s can there be in 180? Well you might start thinking that well 24 goes into 100 a number of times and maybe some 80 number of times so you could get a good round number. But maybe there's a way of thinking about this that can simplify it a bit. One thing I notice about 24 and 180 is that they're both even numbers. So 24 and 180 can be halved. If I take the number 24 and I have it it becomes 12. If I take the number 180 and I have it, it becomes 90. And what I'm thinking is that half of this problem, when you have the 24 and you have the 180, this should make the same problem. I'm thinking that these two problems should be the same. Let's see if it works out. Whoop, but now I can see 12 and 90. What I'm liking about these two numbers, I, can, I like 90 a bit. I know that 3 goes into 90 but 3 also goes into 12. So instead of having it, why don't I just divide them both by 3? So 12 divided by 3 is going to give us 4. And 90 divided by 3 is going to give us 30. Those are much nicer numbers. And again, I'm assuming that they're going to be the same problem. Let's look at this problem. I know that 4 goes into 30 7 times because I know 7 times 4 is 28. I know that there are two left over. So I know that that two is still being divided by the four. So I'm saying that four goes into 37 times with two fourths left over. Now that's pretty good, but there's something interesting about this. This two fourths is not as nice as I'd like it to be. And when I look at that, I think, ah, wouldn't I rather have a half? How would I get to a half? But if I look at the problem, I can see that these two numbers can be useful. 4 and 30 are even numbers, just like the even numbers I had at this top. What if I have both of these? What if I take 4 and I make it into 2? What if I make, take the 30 and I make it into 15? I have it into 15. So I've taken half of 4 to make 2, half of 30 to make 15. And now I've got another problem. 15 divided by 2. And again, I'm assuming that these are going to be equal. Now this problem looks like a much nicer problem than this problem. And I'm still assuming that they're the same problem. We're going to have to check to find out in a moment. So I know that 2 goes into 15 seven times. And there's going to be 1 left over, 1 out of 2. It's the same as this problem. But this one said 7 and 2 fourths. This one says 7 and a half. I like 7 and a half. Let's hold on to seven and a half because I'm assuming right now that seven and a half is how much this one's going to be. Let's see if these two are the same. Is 24 into 180 or 180 divided by 24, seven and a half? Well, one way to check this out is to use multiplication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 24 seven and a half times. If I multiply 24 seven and a half times, I should get 180. And if I get 180, then I know that this was a good way to go. So let's try this out. Let's put 24 here and multiply it by seven. I know that seven times four is 28. I have two tens left over. Seven times two is 14 and two more tens is going to give us 16 tens or 168. Well, that doesn't look right. There's 180 here, there's 168 here. I must be missing something. Oh, there's a half of 24 I still need. So what I still need is 24 times a half. Now a half of 24 
is 12. So I've got 12 here and 168 there. Now if I take my 168 and I add it to my 12, I get 180, which is the same as this. So I'm saying that 7 and a half 24s make 180 in the same way that 7 and a half 2s make 15, which means that 7 and a half 4s make 30 and 7 and a half 12s make 90. I know that looks like long division again, but look at all the interesting things that happen along the way. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. We'll think more about division another day. So maybe do, maybe Dewey's doing a little bit better now. Let's hope so. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Another one soon.